So yeah, so that's you know, that's where things are. Um, we did miss the uh, what was it called? The Ships Ahoy Parade with the large uh, pelican. No, we didn't go to that at all. Um, I think we were still we were still reading at that point because we went for late lunch. You know, it would have been good if we went on the cruise and we were in Mexico on November first. You would have been muertos. Oh, I would have been excited. So would that be another reason for you to do another no. cruise? I've, I've seen Mexico. It's okay. It's hot. It's humid. Two of my least favorite um, aspects of weather. Oh, we're good. Thank you. Um, um, yeah. Um, it was a little humid. A little. Oh, there's the woman. She said. The woman, she's coming by with her with a chair thing. Right over there with her, with her, big, with her big money daddy. I didn't know. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, she had big money daddy. Um, it's interesting too, like we've kind of seen couples and stuff like during the course of the week. Some of them, no matter how close they get to out drinking their drink package by the end of the day, don't seem much happier than the, when they woke up started drinking at 9 a.m. I don't have to do people's happiness. Yeah, it's, it's been interesting. I mean, a lot of sacks of humans just laying aboard. Just kind of grazing, playing in the sun. There was that one old gentleman, older gentleman that we saw who kind of greased up at 9 a.m. He was ready for the day. Oh, he was baking himself on the top, close as he could get to the sun. He was, he was like, let me get to the top of the stack. By the way, we did learn that on a cruise ship, your towel will fly away from your, your, your chair. Your towel, your beach towel, your pool towel will fly away from your chair if you don't use any of the many available decorative clips that you can purchase. Oh, you're special. Apparently, people who go on cruises must know this all they the time. No, they all have these like clips to clip no. their towels to their chairs, which I thought was interesting. Um, some of them look like birds, some of them look like fish, and some people overclip. Like, literally, I think I saw someone with 20 clips on my phone. Uh, they want to be safe. They were, they were anchored. It They're, was basically a... Uh, the threat is, if you lose your towel, you have to pay for said towel. $25. $25 not per cheap, towel. Not cheap and you have to towel. scan your card to get them. People who've so, been cruises know that. Yeah, so they, they are like, that's the most threatening thing on this ship. Yeah, the thing I thought was disturbing is the quality of towels. Because there were towels that look brand new, and that one you got today had freaking bleach spots on it. Yeah, because some of the towels, but today's towels, times. today's towels were hot and toasty when I got them. They were, they had just come Very the hot and toasty. Which is the, the way you want blankies when you get them at the hospital, you know, when you have surgery, and they yes. bring you the toasty blankets, same idea. I, I have a few of those. Ever. My sister's very fond of the toasty blankets. Well, so now, since we're on that topic, um, I also love the, um, the socks they give you with the little rubber treadies on the bottom. Yeah. They're all warm. They I'm never a fan of socks. Oh, but in, but in the winter time, once, so. uh, I've had it. And it, one was on my foot, so I only got a sock on one foot. Oh, I've lost count. Um, uh, I have plenty of tready socks and the warmy, warmy ones. Yeah, my sister all always very likes nice. the warmy blankets. They didn't give me, they didn't, they Little people at a bar. They don't give you socks when you have a cold out. Oh, I get socks. Are you me? My feet are cold. My feet are cold. Um, are we going to go see the comedian tonight? What do you think? Oh, it seems like so much work. It does, actually. I still have a video to edit. edit. Video to edit. And book Stupid amounts of video to edit. I know. We have not been dancing on this trip. But then again, who does that? Might not be our thing. Um, all right. So I think we've covered The only place they're dancing is the nightclub joint, which is on the 13th floor, to be clear. <laughs> and we don't take the elevator with the throngs. So awesome. All right. we're not so, drinking. Oh, whoa. Karen's bringing wine for dinner tonight. Oh, that's right. We, we have, have wine no coming. Wine, so. that's right. We have other wine coming. So you'll have a wine. Tip, uh, you can bring your own bottles of wine. I think we mentioned that before. But that sounds like a really good that sounds like a really good idea. And don't bring the regular bottle of wine. You can bring the Mongo. Get the two liter bottles of wine. One point five. One point five liter bottle of wine. I stand correct as usual. And um, get, get on the metric system. Will you? <laughs> 
Listen, you damn Canadian. Um, so, um, metric system is also used in Mexico, to be clear. It was. Everything was in kilometers, i.e., very fast and somewhat scary sometimes. We had some scary, like some of those. I was never afraid. When those oncoming vehicles. I was never afraid. Okay. I only got nervous when a car actually passed us. When we were like, doing 9,000 kilometers, we were at fast speed. Once. The whole time we were in that bus. Which one, Victor? Was it Victor? We were, yeah, we were Victor traveling at warp factor 5. Yeah, I could yeah, see everything. was 80 it was like, kilometers per hour, and he was totally not. Doing it was like in Star Wars when you go to hyperspace and everything's moving really fast and comes right at you. It was like that. With, I mean, Janet, with Janet from the morning. We did have Janet on that day. No, we didn't have Janet on that day. Oh, was that, oh no, that was racist people day. That's right. We did have the racist people day of our trip. Is this camera picking up every time I roll my eyes or just some of them? It actually had the camera set to, it turns on when you roll your eyes. <laughs> it's got... Optical tracking in it rolled me right here. Um, but yeah, when Victor was driving, we we passed every flip. It. We were passing. 18 wheelers. Once. We were in the, in the van approximately four and a half hours. He passed every vehicle. But we were passing once, and I was in the bus. I think soon you'll see Victor racing at the Circuit of American Austin, actually. Um, in any maybe, maybe. He might have been Italian, I don't know, the way he drove. He didn't look Italian. After our experience. Um, yeah. All right, but, so. yeah, um, but yeah, as, a, as an experienced driver in Canada where speeds are posted in kilometers, we were doing way more than 80. And there were times when it went up to seven. when it went up to hundred. So the the conversion for those who don't know the metric system, conversion one hundred kilometers per hour is sixty two point five miles per hour. Um, he must have been going off a good hundred and twenty to one hundred thirty kilometers an hour, easily. Handled. But we paid him, so we tipped him. Hey, he did it, and he got, got us back to the boat in the nick of time, so we weren't ostracized. Yes, that was one of the fun things we learned that if you are late for the boat and they have to blow the horn and you run for the boat, there are people on the upper decks who yell out and cheer for you. They're also making fun of you because you're late for the boat. They like they yell, run. What? And we do know of one person who did not make it back, not because she was running, but because she fell in a store in Cozumel and had a compound fracture of yeah. her friggin' arm. We heard about her. We rode in the elevator with her friend. Who was going to get her She was going stuff. to get her insurance information because they were going to the hospital in Mexico. I hope they so got an itemized bill. I really hope she got an <laughs> 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 It's going to be bloody murder um, getting that thing back. But she was in a wheelchair down where we get back on the like, boat. wrapped up from here <laughs> to here. Right, it looked bad and then her friend was like, compound, her, her bone is sticking out. I was like, <laughs> Whoa! Compound fracture, that's no fun when you take a vacation. Yeah, but she just like tripped shit. going into a shop. Like she didn't like fall off a zip line or some crap. Like like no. this was like just basic shit. But she was let's just say there was a lot of her to hit the ground. And as Kirsten has noted, she probably wasn't taking her vitamins or drinking her milk. She probably didn't have enough milk. She probably had low bone density. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that's her fault. However, yeah. so, you know, drink your milk, take your vitamin D, keep your bones strong, get your bone density screens every 23 months, as allowed by your insurance, and then let all the fat so you don't get compound fractures when you're on a cruise. <laughs> and with that advice and 32 minutes of us just painlessly rambling with the sausage, sausage with sausage dog, dog who I might or might not be coming. All my happiness. I'm going to marry the sausage dog. There we go. We now know who she's marrying. And as you can see, it's not me. I'm not marrying anyone. It's too expensive to get on married. That is true. And with that, we're going to go. We're going to go have dinner and multiple appetizers and all the good stuff. So or maybe multiple desserts. You never know. Thank you for hanging with us. This has been a long hang. I don't even know if this will be multiple videos or just one long. No, yammer yammer. my God, you can't post thirty minutes of shit. This is not. This is comedy gold. I think NBC would argue that. Hey, they need to replace the prime time lineup anyway with us. Okay. All right. Wait, get the eye roll. <laughs>
Goodbye, camera. Have a good nap.